Today we have some exciting news to share about SpaceX and Elon Musk's latest revelation. That's right, Musk just announced that SpaceX is working on a nuclear propulsion engine for their spacecraft. This is a game-changer for the future of space travel, and we can't wait to dive into the details. So, what exactly does a nuclear propulsion engine mean for SpaceX and their missions? Well, traditional rocket engines rely on chemical propulsion, which has its limitations in terms of speed and efficiency. But a nuclear propulsion engine could potentially revolutionize space travel by providing much higher thrust and efficiency, ultimately allowing spacecraft to travel farther and faster than ever before. Of course, there are still many technical and regulatory hurdles to overcome before we see a nuclear propulsion engine in action. However, Musk's announcement is a clear indication of SpaceX's ambitious plans for the future. This could pave the way for manned missions to Mars and beyond, making space exploration more accessible and sustainable. In a recent revelation, Elon Musk has unveiled SpaceX's latest breakthrough in aerospace technology, the nuclear fusion starship. Departing from conventional chemical propulsion, this groundbreaking concept developed in collaboration with Pulsar Fusion marks a significant leap towards realizing the once distant dream of interplanetary travel. Did you ever imagine Elon Musk would unveil SpaceX's game changing nuclear propulsion engine? So, let's explain how Elon Musk revealed. Hello, everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. St let's dive into the details of this revolutionary technology developed in collaboration with Pulsar Fusion and explore how it's reshaping the future of space travel. What sets it apart from conventional methods? The answers might just surprise you. Nuclear propulsion, a groundbreaking technology in space exploration, leverages the formidable energy generated by nuclear reactions to drive spacecraft forward. Unlike traditional rockets that burn fuel, this innovative concept marks a departure from the norm, offering a more efficient and potent alternative. This idea is not new. In the 1960s, the United States embarked on the NERVA program, aiming to employ nuclear energy for Mars missions. Simultaneously, the Soviet Union pursued a similar path, developing the RD-0410 nuclear engine. Despite promising ground tests, both programs faced setbacks, emphasizing the challenges in transitioning from theory to practical application. The potent energy derived from nuclear fuel allows rockets to carry larger payloads, a pivotal factor in astronaut missions. Moreover, the prospect of interstellar travel comes into view, expanding the scope of exploration beyond our immediate celestial neighbors. Nuclear propulsion relies on processes such as fission and fusion. Fission involves the splitting of heavy atomic nuclei, releasing substantial energy, while fusion entails the merging of light atomic nuclei, yielding even more energy. Translating these scientific principles into rocket systems requires the design of reactors specifically tailored for space travel. Unlike terrestrial reactors primarily engineered for electricity generation, space-bound reactors prioritize the production of maximum thrust. The art of crafting these reactors goes beyond mere scientific endeavors. It symbolizes a paradigm shift in space exploration. As we unlock the latent energy within atomic nuclei, nuclear propulsion emerges as a transformative force, propelling us towards a new era of efficiency and potential in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Two primary types of reactors come into focus, thermal and fast reactors. Thermal reactors, also known as thermal spectrum reactors, employ a moderator to slow down neutrons produced in fission reactions, enhancing reaction efficiency. On the other hand, fast reactors operate with fast neutrons, and lacking a moderator, offer the advantage of utilizing a broader range of nuclear fuels, potentially including nuclear waste conversion. The heart of any propulsion system is its fuel, and in the expansive realm of space, the choice of fuel holds significant importance. While enriched uranium is commonly used on Earth, space exploration necessitates a diverse set of fuel options. Candidates such as uranium-235, plutonium-239, thorium and americium present unique characteristics within the reactor, navigating the nuclear propulsion landscape, two dominant systems emerge. Thermal propulsion and electric propulsion. Thermal propulsion relies on heat generated by a nuclear reactor to superheat propellant, which, upon expansion, is expelled to generate thrust. Electric propulsion in contrast utilizes electricity derived from a nuclear reactor to ionize a propellant, propelling ions through magnetic or electric fields to create thrust. While electric propulsion systems excel in efficiency, ideal for prolonged missions, 
with gradual acceleration needs, thermal propulsion systems offer superior thrust levels for quick acceleration, making them suitable for time-sensitive manned missions. However, challenges such as radiation pose concerns leading to the development of advanced shielding techniques and cooling systems. Advanced cooling systems, employing liquid metal coolants like sodium and potassium, draw heat away from the reactor core. Managing extreme heat is crucial to prevent potential damage or meltdowns, necessitating careful consideration in reactor design. Safety measures, contingency plans, and automated shutdown systems are integral components, ensuring mission continuity and astronaut safety in the event of malfunctions. Consider the potential ramifications of a nuclear mishap in space where the release of radioactive materials could contaminate orbital paths, posing risks to other missions, and exacerbating the challenges of space debris. The concern is heightened as damaged spacecraft with onboard reactors may become long-term radioactive hazards, necessitating strategies for the safe disposal of such spacecraft. In the pursuit of space exploration, it is crucial to acknowledge that it is not solely about reaching new frontiers, but also a testament to human ambition and a relentless drive to push boundaries. Harnessing the power of nuclear propulsion to accelerate journeys to distant realms underscores the immense potential it holds. However, with such power comes an undeniable responsibility. Every intricate detail, from the reactor's blueprint to the chosen path of the voyage, must be meticulously planned with safety and environmental considerations at the forefront. In contemplating the cosmic secret behind SpaceX's groundbreaking approach, we delve into the relationship between energy and mass, encapsulated by Einstein's iconic equation, East equals mc square. This equation, far from being just a mathematical representation, reveals that even the smallest speck of mass can be a powerhouse of energy. This principle governs nuclear reactions, where atomic particles undergo transformations, releasing immense energy, the bedrock of nuclear propulsion, propelling humanity into the future of space exploration, venturing into the atomic realm, where particles engage in a choreographed ballet, nuclear reactions of fission and fusion take center stage. Fission involves the splitting of heavy atomic nuclei, releasing energy, while fusion sees light nuclei coming together to form heavier ones, releasing even more energy. Within the intricate workings of nuclear reactors, the neutron multiplication factor, K, plays a crucial role in tracking the lineage of neutrons, determining whether a reactor is in a supercritical, subcritical, or equilibrium state. Balancing K is paramount for reactor safety and efficiency. In propulsion, exploring the secrets of nuclear propulsion that Tsiolkovsky rocket equation emerges as a fundamental concept in rocket science. This equation establishes a relationship between a rocket's velocity, the speed of the expelled exhaust, and the rocket's weight before and after fuel consumption. The exhaust velocity, a direct reflection of the propulsion system's efficiency, holds great significance. Nuclear propulsion systems, with their high temperatures leading to greater exhaust, velocities, promise a more potent thrust impulse, essential for spacecraft acceleration. Considering the specific impulse in delta V, crucial metrics for space missions, nuclear propulsion systems boast higher specific impulses compared to their chemical counterparts. This high energy density of nuclear fuels allows for greater efficiency in converting stored fuel energy into speed and motion. The potential for achieving higher delta V opens possibilities for faster journeys, extended mission capabilities, an ambitious exploration of outer planets, or even interstellar space, yet with the promises of nuclear propulsion come challenges, particularly in managing radiation. Engineers employ advanced shielding techniques and cooling systems to protect spacecraft and astronauts from radiation exposure. The design and composition of shielding materials, from lead to tungsten to water, play a critical role in ensuring robust protection against radiation threats. Additionally, managing extreme heat generated by nuclear reactions requires sophisticated cooling systems to prevent potential damage or meltdowns. As SpaceX's nuclear propulsion redefines the boundaries of exploration, distant stars and galaxies cease to be mere twinkling lights. They become our next destinations in the vast expanse of space. Additionally, Elon Musk revealed insane new SpaceX Starship plans for 2024 with new mind-boggling innovations and technologies that will completely change the space industry as we know it. Musk is preparing to introduce the new Starship version 2, historical engine improvements, and maybe even a new Starship design. With that, Musk revealed specific plans for the Artemis lunar landing program in 2024, and as it seems it will be very exciting to watch. So as you know, during the second test flight, Approximately 150 seconds following its launch, 
the spacecraft underwent a stage separation, with the upper stage of the Starship igniting its six engines. Furthermore, Elon Musk has revealed SpaceX's plans to transition to Starship version 2 in 2024, featuring several improvements over the existing model. This new version is anticipated to enhance propellant storage, lower the rocket's empty weight, and improve overall reliability. The rocket's external design is expected to remain largely unchanged. One potential upgrade for Starship V2 is a nine-engine setup, combining six vacuum-optimized engines with up to three additional engines, although this configuration's final implementation in V2 remains uncertain. 2024 will be a very important year for the Artemis lunar landing program. As NASA's Artemis program aims to return astronauts to the moon, and SpaceX has been selected to develop the first commercial human lander for this purpose. This lander will transport two American astronauts to the lunar surface. SpaceX is collaborating closely with NASA and is expected to ensure that their lander design meets the required performance standards and human spaceflight criteria. The HLS Starship is based on SpaceX's Raptor engines and incorporates elements from the Falcon and Dragon vehicles. It features a spacious cabin and two airlocks for astronaut moonwalks, and is intended to evolve into a fully reusable system for travel to the Moon, Mars, and other destinations. The Artemis program involves using NASA's Space Launch System rocket and the Orion spacecraft to transport astronauts to lunar orbit. The program also includes the development of new technologies and systems, such as precision landing technologies, new mobility capabilities, habitats, rovers, and power systems to facilitate extended exploration of the moon. These innovations are not only aimed at lunar exploration, but are also stepping stones for future missions to Mars. Also, Elon Musk revealed that SpaceX currently conducts launches from Florida approximately every three days. However, the actual frequency is about once every 3.8 days, based on 80 launches in the last 3 to 11 days. Musk has set a goal for the company to achieve a launch every two days in 2024. Should SpaceX sustain this pace for the entire year, it would amount to around 180 launches in 2024. This figure is potentially twice the number of launches projected for 2023. As a result, SpaceX is on track to generate approximately $9 billion in revenue this year, with expectations to increase this to $15 billion in 2024. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the TalkTalk Talk app, here down below.